Well, hey guys, welcome back in the garage where today we're going to be looking at the new Eon tail bag range from SW Motec. So we've got the Eon S, M and L, standing for small, medium, large. So if you're in the market for a new tail bag, then stay tuned for the next few minutes and we'll talk you through them. See you in a sec. So first off, we have the Eon S, the smallest uh, bag of the three. This um, has a seven to 15 litre capacity. So as it, as it is now, it's a seven litre capacity, but with a zip around the outside, it can be extended upwards to 15 litres, which, uh, which is ideal. This is a great sort of day bag where you can uh, put whatever you wanted to in there. I use it all for my camera gear. I can fit my DSLR in there, my GoPros and all that sort of bits and bobs when I'm out vlogging. It all fits in there nicely. Comes with uh, mounting straps, now it can be mounted either on your rear uh, rear seat, your pillion seat, or on a rear rack. It's got two ways of mounting it. Even you can take the seat off, um, your rear seat, and mount these Velcro straps under the seat and refit the seat, and it's it's perfectly um, perfectly secure. Or you can use the mounting straps with the D rings on the side and sort of mount it to a, or put the, um, mount the straps to a foot peg or to indicators wherever you've got some uh, points on the bike where you can secure it to comes with a waterproof inner bag. Now they have improved to their inner bags by the looks of things. They look at much higher quality than the previous um, previous tail bags. I've got a lot of experience with their tail bags from Esther Tech. I think I've got them all. And um, yeah, so uh, good, good inner waterproof bag. Now I've never had the outer shell let water in, to be honest. Um, even the outer shells on these aren't waterproof, but the water resistant, but in the downpour, you may get a bit of seepage in through um, um, a zipper but I've never had that happen but obviously it's a, it's a good thing to have a waterproof inner bag so you're 100% um, sure that things are going to stay clean and dry. Um, so we've got a one one pocket inside I don't know if you want to put your paperwork in there you maybe fit a set of small gloves in there maybe some summer gloves and it's got an outer pocket on the top. The top is it's this really nice design I really like the new design that they've gone with it's all black on their previous um, bags which we should take a look at in a sec they had a sort of a grey gray um, red and blue kind of uh, vibe going on but i like these black ones so that is the eon s not too much more i can say about that one as i said it can fit on your rear seat or on the rear rack great sort of sort of day bag really for all your sort of smalls and bits and bobs great bag to have so this is the eon m similar to the rear pack which um which featured in a lot of my videos. This is the rear pack, which is slightly larger than this one, but it's a sort of similar design that they've gone with. Um, this, this bag has taken me all over the place. I took this on my European tour and uh, kept, kept everything super clean and dry inside, although it's looking a bit weathered these days, but it's a kind of similar design that they've gone with um, for the Eon M. Now it is slightly smaller, so this will um, give you a 26 to 36 litre capacity. Again, the same on the other bag on the rear pack that I just showed you, the, the sides can be extended outwards to give you that full capacity. Again, on the top, it's got this uh, rubber sort of soft shell fabric on top, which I'm really sort of really digging. And you sort of normal stuff that comes with every bag. You've got a, a compartment at the top there for your bits and bobs. Again, a waterproof bag inside which Velcro's in, stay secure, and then you can put all your stuff uh, stuff in there. Um, slightly different on this bag, it's kind of got an indentation so it fits nicer on your rear of the seat or on your rear rack. Uh, they've changed the um, clasps, updated the clasps, clasps which I like, quick release jobbers. Um, again, this needs to be mounted then with the use of four, four lashing straps to points on your bike where you can secure it. A um, couple of bags or a couple of zipper, zipper pockets on both sides. Again, a carry handle on the rear and again, some sort of D-rings on the top that you can mount a shoulder strap to for you and whip it off and take it into your hotel. But this is plenty big enough. You can happily get, you know, um, a good few days worth of clothes in there, some shoes, a wash kit and some clothing, etc. That's uh, if you're going away for the weekend or something, it's an ideal bag um, to use for that. So that is the Eon N. And lastly, we've got uh, the Eon L. So the largest of the bag, this will give you a 50 litre capacity. Again, it's a similar design to my cargo bag. Again, that I used on my um, European tour. So that's a kind of similar design. 
So with the sort of subtle differences on this one, you've got some elastics on the side sort of panniers that you don't get on, on, on this bag. Um, but same capacity, I believe. Um, I'd have to check, but I'm pretty sure it's the same capacity. A similar uh, bag, but different design. I'm really liking the black with this sort of soft shell rubber on top. So uh, this will mount uh, um, best on your rear pillion seat. Now this is my favorite bag to use when I go away, because once you've filled it, and you mount it to the back of your, or mount it on the pillion seat, you can really sort of lean up against the, the bag and it's an optimal sort of back, back rest for me. I think it's very comfortable and it's, um, you can get a lot in it. And once it's fully, fully loaded, the sort of, the sides hang down over the, the side of your bike and act as, act as sort of panniers and you've got, then, you've got then two side pockets that you can fill. Ideally for, you can fit a set of shoes in there and it hangs down over the side of the bike and uh, really gives you a lot of volume to use. Again, the usual um, inner pockets for, um, for your paperwork, etc. And again, the waterproof bag inside just to ensure that your gear stays clean and dry. Now, as I said before, they really have improved the, um, the waterproof inner bags. But again, on this bag, on the cargo bag that I had before, never had any water go in. Apart from on the, the two outer pockets on the side, they're not waterproof at all and uh, water tend to, got, uh, to get in there. So you do have to make sure that if you are using them and you put in anything of value or anything in there or electronic, that you put an inner bag um, in the side pockets. But as with all their bags, really high quality underneath here, as I said, because the sides hang over the side of the bike, you've got some uh, anti sort of slip material. There's probably some heat resistant in there as well if you've got a, a high slung exhaust. Again, good quality, new, new clasps. They seem to, uh, seem to work well. You've got some D-rings on the side there for when you're mounting it. So the strap goes first through this D-ring and then onto the clasp and it sort of pulls the, pulls the bag into the bike so it doesn't look, um, doesn't look ridiculous and keeps it nice and snug, nice and tidy, nice and neat. Carry and handle there for when you've whipped it off your, off, your, uh, off your bike and carrying it into your hotel. Now like you've seen on the video now, you can combine the two. So you can um, have this on your pillion seat and have the um, the Eon M on the rear rack or vice versa. You can put the Eon S on, your, on, on the pillion seat and have the M or the L on your rear rack. It depends how you want to do it, but you can combine the um, two of these bags if you really sort of go in that long haul and going, for, going away for a long uh, period of time. So you're really sort of taking some gear with you. But again, a really high quality, nice tail bag. Now I'm going to be using this probably on my next trip out, which I'm going to Turinger Wald. So I'm going to be using one or two of these bags, I think. I don't know which one yet, but I should be taking it out. So it'll be featured, I'm sure, in that video. Well, that is it for today. Just a sort of quick look, quick insight into the three bags. Um, if you are interested in any of the three, then link is in the description below to SW Motex website, so you can go there and check them out. They will be featuring in more of my videos to come. I will be using these over the next sort of two or three months, the touring videos that I've got weekends away that I've got coming up. Um, so if you've got any questions or queries, then fire them in the comment section below. Otherwise, catch you next time. See you out there, ride safe. See you next time.